Good morning. Today we're going to uh, evaluate this limit. So the limit is x goes to 1 of the square root of 5x minus 4x squared minus 1 all over x minus 1. Uh, first thing we do is we look at the form. We may get lucky and we might get an indeterminate form be able to evaluate this limit directly. So we have uh, 5 times substituting 1 in for x in the numerator we get 5 minus uh, 4 times 1 is 1. Square root of 1 is 1. 1 minus 1 is 0. Uh, the denominator 1 minus 1 is 0. So in fact we do have the indeterminate form 0 over 0 so we have to do something else to evaluate this limit. So I'm just going to recopy it. The limit is x goes to 1 of the square root of 5x minus 4x squared minus 1 divided by x minus 1. Um, we have a square root in the numerator and we're evaluating a limit in the form of 0 over 0. So we want to think multiply the numerator and the denominator by the conjugate of the numerator. So rationalizing the numerator. Maybe in a previous course you were asked to rationalize the denominator. Well now you're being asked to rationalize the numerator. Uh, so we have the square root of 5x minus 4x squared conjugate plus 1 over square root of 5x minus 4x squared plus 1. We'll expand the numerator. We will leave the denominator alone. So we have the limit as x goes to 1. Uh, why? x goes to 1 of the square root times the square root. <laughs> minus 4x squared minus 1 over quantity x minus 1 times the quantity square root of 5x minus 4x squared square root of plus 1. Now we still have the form 0 over 0 but we're a little closer. We hope that the numerator factors and it does otherwise I wouldn't have chose, chose it. So I'm going to uh, go off to the side here and do a little scratch work. I like to I like to have my uh, leading coefficient of my quadratic expression to be uh, positive, so I'm going to factor out a negative. And that'll leave 4x squared minus 5x plus 1. Um, I'm going to use a technique. Some people call it the AC method. It uses factor by grouping, but this is still out here. I'm going to draw some brackets in there. Um, we multiply the uh, term attached to the coefficient attached to the squared x squared times the constant term and that would be 4 and then we list uh, we make factors that will of uh, 4 that will add up to negative 5. Well I know that that is uh, negative 1 and negative 4. Negative 1 times negative 4 is positive 4 and uh, negative 1 plus negative 4 is negative 5. So what we do is we just, we just rewrite uh, the, this middle term negative 5x as the sum or difference in this case or however you want to look at it of uh, x multiplied by these two factors. So we have negative 4x minus x plus 1 Notice I've only changed the way it looks. Negative 4x minus x is still negative 5x. So now I'm going to factor by grouping. Notice in these, these first two uh, expressions I have a common factor of 4x. So I'm going to bring them out in front. It leaves an x minus 1. Here we want our x to be positive so we can pull out a negative 1. Leaving uh, inside the parentheses x minus 1. This is what we want. We have a common factor of x minus 1. There's still my negative, so I'm going to pull that out, factor that out, and then what's left inside will be 4x minus 1, and we have factored the numerator into negative 1 times x minus 1 times 4x minus 1. You could leave, you could factor the negative into either one of these. I just left it out because I think it makes it easier to factor. So I'm going to rewrite this limit in, in the factored form of the numerator. So the limit is x goes to 1 
of negative times x minus 1 times 4x minus 1 over the quantity x minus 1 times the square root of 5x minus 4x squared uh, plus 1 in the denominator. We see that x minus 1, x minus 1 cancel, knowing we have a removable discontinuity and therefore a whole and a double-sided limit to boot. So I'm just going to rewrite before I take the limit. Sorry, I keep on. Uh, the limit is x goes to 1 of negative times 4x minus 1 divided by the square root of 5x minus 4x squared plus 1. Now we see that as x goes to 1, the numerator goes to negative times 4 times 1 is 4 minus 1 is 3. <coughs> 5 times 1 is 5, minus 4 times 1 is 1, the square root of 1 is 1, 1 plus 1 is 2, leaving, giving us our limit of negative 3 halves, which is in fact the limit. That's how you do it, a little side there practicing, I mean uh, factoring, sorry. Uh, maybe you hadn't seen that before, maybe you have, uh, I like it.